Resumes, cover letters, and applications. Resume. A resume is a short list of a person's work history, skills, education, and qualifications. If you want to apply for a job, you must make a resume. Work history. Your work history is a list of jobs and experience that a person had in the past. Employers will look at your work history to determine if you are good for the job. Highlights. In a resume, the highlights section lists important activities that someone has been a part of. It is good to list your accomplishments in this section. Accomplishments. Accomplishments are achievements or successes at work or school. Awards, certificates, and offices that someone held are examples of accomplishments. Qualifications. Qualifications are the abilities, certificates, licenses, or endorsements that a person has in order to do a job. Some jobs, like teaching, require certain qualifications. A cover letter. A cover letter is a letter to an employer that contains more detail about your qualifications and accomplishments. Always check your cover letter for spelling errors. The salutation is the greeting at the beginning of a letter. Common salutations are dear or to whom it may concern. It is polite to include a salutation. Body. The body is the main part of a letter that contains most of the information. You write about your qualifications in the body of a cover letter. Closure. The closure is the conclusion and end of the letter. It is a good habit to write thank you or sincerely at the end of your letters. Sender. The person who sends a letter and resume to another person is the sender. The sender's name, address, phone number, and email are at the top of the cover letter. Recipient. The person who receives something from another person is the recipient. The employer is the recipient of your cover letter and resume. Fill out an application. To fill out an application is to complete the form in order to apply for a job. Today, most jobs require that you fill out an application online. The end.